Welcome to RaiGurkul.com. In this video, we will discuss about Power BI Connector for ServiceNow. This is an important enterprise application built for ServiceNow where we can integrate with our enterprise ServiceNow credentials. This is a already built-in app which we can use it for generating interactive reports within our ServiceNow instance. If you want to create a business related use case which will have incident a problem on contract related informations on the service now and display or visualized data within a power bi then this is the best suit for any user i will help you how we can install and do the configurations and probably we can generate a report interactive report which will help us a business team to showcase for their client as well as for the vendor so if you want to learn in detail be available from start to end of this video so how this will help us a business team this is a very easy to use customized connector where we can generate or extract a report as per our requirement so here there are three folds within it first is installation for installation of this connector, either we have to navigate it to the service now tool or simply write here system applications. Within the system applications, click all available applications. Once we will navigate it to this, will again navigate it to the service now store where we can see all those applications which is available in our instance. So if you can see here, Power BI connector. So simply I will just install it because it's already installed in my instance that's why it's showing install but if you have not installed it select this and navigate it to the installation board where you will be able to click on try it for free once it's select try it for free this will start adding so these are the integration services which we have and generally when we are doing the configuration point of view here we have to add the different authentications for the user and this is not for the administrator where we can use this service now add-on for individual or external users to generate the report so let me show you the power bi connector for service now on tool and from there we can see the detail who built this application now if you can see power bi connector for service now this is built by AlphaSor. AlphaSor is a company who has built this integration with the service now where we can use this complete applications to fetch and export the report within our enterprise version. If you want to connect with them, probably you can use support at alphaSor.com. Other than that, you will also have several other details. So here you can contact with the sellers. These are the details which is available. Now this is a certified app within the service now so there's no issues for security or compliance related so you can just try and if it feels good then probably you can explore more about this tool even you can find out detail about this application from the website where you will have the complete detail about it where we can click try on free or book a demo whatever you want to access it now Let's proceed ahead with the further configurations. Once the installation will be done, you will be able to see the installed application is available within your service now instead. After that, we have to create a data source. For creating a data source, simply add your instance ID as well as servicenow.com. And after that, just add PBI underscore corrector. So this is a URL. I will also add with it my discussion tab so that you will be able to easily refer once you navigate it to this page simply you have to click on create new data source so here we are just creating power bi connector to add the descriptions this is for demo after adding you can allow rows limit and just adding 500 so if you want to disable editing for other users just add it otherwise you can keep it planned export configurations here you can add as many table you want as of now 
I just want to add the incident. So here I'm selecting incident as one table. So here I'm just adding active description, reopen count, as well as approval, approval set. Then contract created by priority as well as company. So it's totally up to you if you want to select all those details which you want you can select it as of now i'm selecting few of them so that i i am able to showcase within this demo so i'm searching for id uh, so this is a correlation id but i want incident id as clinicians domain path system id update urgency okay that's it save it and then i want to add one more table so here other than incident i want to add problem so i'm selecting this click on add and we have problem as well so activity then the approval approval set assigned to assignment group then the confirm configure item contract type contract then we have system id task type Resolve by and resolve. Reopen count as well. Now let's click on save. Once we are done with creation of this page, probably we'll navigate to the home where we will see this connector is created successfully. Now we have to just copy OData feed URL and navigate it to the Power BI. So this is a demo which I have created earlier. Let me include it for the new data source. So if you want to uh, add the data source within the Power BI, let me close this. I will show you from scratch. I will navigate it to the Power BI desktop, which I've already configured and installed within my system. So if you have not installed, probably you can install it and post that. You will be able to use this configuration successfully. To add this complete relation, simply we have to navigate it to the get data. And from here, select OData fit. Provide the URL which we have copied. Now click on OK and this will navigate it to the authentication sections if you have not authenticated. But it's if you have already authenticated, probably you will get the table detail configured here. Select both these table and click on load. So when we are configuring, either you have to select the basic authentication as well as or 2 So as of now, for me, I have included basic authentications click on load this will take few seconds to get added the data and click on apply changes now this will take some time to load all those data which is available within your service now instance and here you can see build visual with our data so for generating a visual either you can select any of the charts from here so if let's go ahead with first incident where I want to select any of those options. Let me add this pie chart. Now, if here we have not provided the data. For adding the data, I will select this options. And here you can see acceleration symbol, which is 48, that is 100%. I'll also add priority. You can see priority is included and the graph got changed. Then, if you want to see the re reopen count uh, against the priority, we'll have those details now if you want to see the severity we will also have this fields and other than that you can also select several other fields totally depending on your requirement so if you can see this graph is simply generated even we can make other or select any of the graph which is suitable for the projects so let me add here all those fields uh, uh, remove all those fields and then generate it Right, so here we have the bubble graph. Within the bubble graph, I'm selecting the fields to showcase the data. So as of now, uh, it's not showing properly within bubble graph. So now it's generated successfully. Here, this bubble graph is generated. If you want to add the contract, we'll also have the contract details. So similarly, we can also select any other graph as well. So let me select for the bar graph. We have this 
this field so again let's me showcase the explanation priority review open count 70 as well as the contract so here we can see the contract and all those relations which is available here other than that we can also filter visuals so if you want to filter it out the visuals we can show it in the focus mode if you want to show into the focus mode we have this detail available here we can also set expand all down one level in the hierarchy so these are the hierarchy which is showing otherwise click to turn on drill down so if if you want to drill down any of these reports we will have drill down report on the monthly basis so if if you want to showcase just drill up we can see the year wise but if you want to drill down just select any of the options and this will drill down to quarterly basis other than that if you want to export the data simply click on export and save it into the csv file so here we have this data available with the csv file so this is a very interactive report generated within a power bi we are finished just for the incidents let's me go ahead with the problem so for that i will just export it or maybe i will add a new page within that i will select the problem so for problem i want to select reopen count and here we have not selected any graph so let me add the graph maybe this one and contract contract type resolve by approval system id system resolve by problem id we have this detail assigned to cmdb as it's not generating the proper data because we don't have enough amount of data here that's why it's not showing but if i want to just remove it from this then probably i will have some details maybe let me create the power graph now this is showing for the report here we can select this graph and then we will have those details available contract and then you can see contract type yearly as a data type assigned to and assignment group assigned to but still we, we don't have the proper data even we can see those details within our table view where we have correlations company approval set these all details are available other than that we can also showcase within a schema where we will have the incident schema with this detail available now within the problem if i want to add few more fields so i will simply go here and add edit those fields which i want to add it in within the problem so let me select few more fields like created created by delivery plan delivery task descriptions priority order open number problem state locations knowledge impact now let's save this now it's saved let me go to here and so as of now i'm selecting the basic you can also select the advanced one and click ok this will take few seconds to be updated the fields which we have so as of now i'm selecting both this table click on load and here we have updated those fields so problem two and incident two is updated from the next uh, uh, new table which we have just added so in the problem two we have included a lot more things so let me come up with sheet detail so as of now let me uncheck the things from the problem one or data from the problem one so here we have removed all those fields which we have selected let me go to the problem two where we have selected order priority you can see the problem state count then i'm selecting those many fields even if you want to add contract we can also add the contract according to us so here this report is generated in within the bar graph so if you want to download exactly cmd we can download it we can also expand our down all levels in the hierarchy for the fields which we want to showcase even if we want to drill down any of the reports uh, for any formats uh, we, we can drill down it 
if you want to showcase the focus you can also have those details available so this will help business team to generate and craft a visualize the report where they will be able to take decisions on incident and problem statement which is occurring in service now this is a very helpful connector or the enterprise app which is created by alphasoft which will help us to visualize our data from the service now that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching